Welcome to Password State training videos. My name is Lee and today we'll be looking at the user interface of Password State and some of the key areas that you'll be using frequently. Password State is a web-based piece of software which means you'll access it through any type of browser. Once you log in, you'll be presented with a screen that is split up into a few different areas. Starting from the left-hand side, there is a menu system that has links to a number of different features within our software. You can pin this menu so it is expanded out permanently, or you can collapse it to give you more screen space. Next to that, we have what we call the navigation pane. This pane will display different data depending on which tab you activate up the top. At the moment, the passwords tab is activated and this displays all folders and password lists that you have access to. Every user in Password State has access to this Passwords tab. The Host tab is generally only used by the uh, users in the IT department. This is where you'll be launching remote sessions to servers and other devices on your network. Depending on your role in the company, you may or may not see this Host tab. The Administration tab is only visible for Password State Security Administrators, and these are the people who install, update, and maintain your Password State instance. Now back under the Passwords tab, this is where you add folders and password lists. Password lists are used to store passwords for things like website logins, application credentials or work-related accounts. Folders are used to hold one or more password lists. And an example of a complete folder and password list structure could be for an IT department where you split the folder structure into different teams and then each team has access to a number of different password lists which hold their team passwords that they're responsible for. Everything you see under here is permission based and depending on how the permissions are applied, what you see under the passwords tab may be different to what your colleagues see. Adding new folders or password lists can be done by right clicking somewhere in the navigation tree and selecting add folder, or these can also be created from your passwords menu. If you wanna quickly find a folder or a password list, then you should search for it using this search box up the top. If you want to quickly expand or collapse all folders and password lists, you should toggle this button here. If you have some password lists that you frequently visit, you can add them to your favorites and toggling this button here will filter on your favorite password lists or all of the password lists in the system. The main body of your page is where you'll interact with your sensitive data. When clicking on a password list, you'll see all of the passwords that are stored in it. And below this grid is a recent activity grid which shows a complete auditing history for this list. At the top of the passwords grid is where you add your list to your favorites and it also tells you if your password list is shared or private. Shared list means that multiple people can be given access to it and private means only you can access the contents of it. Not even password state security administrators can grant themselves access to your private lists so it's safe to store things like your social media logins or personal banking details. In your passwords grid you can quickly toggle the visibility of a password and this orange icon will copy the value of that field to your clipboard. If you wish to clear your clipboard to remove the sensitive data from it, you can press this button in the top right hand corner. If you want to edit a password record, simply click on the title which will open up a new window. And in here you can make and view changes as you need. There are a few different buttons within here that can help you manage your record, such as copying to the clipboard, viewing the password in clear text, and generating a new random password. Adding the password into your password list is generated by clicking this add button here. And the password list has an administrator menu with a number of different options for you to explore. This search box will search for entries within the currently active password list. But if you click on Passwords Home, performing a search in here will search across all of your password lists. 
Searching on the Passwords homepage is the same as searching in the global search box in the top right hand corner of your screen. The global search also doubles up as a place to quickly generate random passwords, which you can then use uh, within Password Stay or perhaps on a third party application you might be working on. If there are any notifications for you to view in action, they will be displayed in the Notification Center. Clicking on your username takes you to your Personal Preferences screen, and this screen can also be accessed from your menu system on the left-hand side. And finally, there is a logout button which you can use to exit your session. However, Password State should also automatically log you out if you've been inactive for a little while. So thanks for watching. We hope this helps you get started with Password State. For more in-depth training videos, please see the Click Studios webpage or our custom YouTube training channel. Thank you.